Okay, uh, good good day to everyone. Um, for our for the last discussion that we'll have for finals, since malapit na kayo magpracticum, I think it's just very timely na meron tayong uh, before before we leave, you know, before I leave you guys with you know, with for the practicum. And if wala pa kayo, um, nagagawang resume for uh, for 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 hiring purposes or for uh, when you're looking for a job. Kung wala pa kayong resume or if you want to have an updated resume, um, i-discuss ko sa si inyo kung papaano nga ba um, nag-work itong um, napaka-simple lang naman na resume. Um, the, only, the, the only thing you have to remember, or I, actually there's two things you have to remember when making your resume. The uh, first Re the first being is your resume should be um, organized as much as possible. Um, kailangan uniform lahat ng um, lahat ng indents, lahat ng spacing, lahat ng um, justifications. Everything that you have to put in your resume should be organized. Dapat hindi siya magulo tingnan. Kasi when, if your resume will be um, disorganized or mahirap tingnan, automatically hindi na magsispend or hindi na sasayangan ng oras ng HR ang pagbasa doon sa resume niya. So, the first thing is it should be organized as much as possible. And the uh, another thing you have to uh, consider when making a resume is dapat um, straightforward direct uh, hindi kayo nagpapaligoy-ligoy um, kasi ang ang pinaka ang pinaka um, how can I say this ang pinaka objective lang naman talaga ng resume natin is for the HR to easily or to have an easy access to the information that he or she needs from you and ano nga ba yung mga information na kailangan niyang malaman from you? Your personal information, your skills, your achievements, your uh, certifications, your experiences, personal information, contacts, reference. Kung ano yung kailangan niyang tingnan, yun ang dapat niya makita dito sa resume natin. So, let's tackle this our, um, resume. This, this is actually the resume that I have. Um, ever since na uh, graduate ako from UST, so this format was given to us by our, I mean this template was given to us by our uh, professor way back then, and up until now I'm still using this um, template. Kasi it's simple to look at, hindi siya masyado masakit sa mata, and very straightforward siya. So the first thing being, na kailangan nating um, kailangan nating discuss dito is the contact information here. Contact information very straightforward. Your name, address, contact number, and email ad. And then um, at the other side of that space, you will there include your picture. Regarding the picture, um, it should be formal as much as possible, like this one. Kailangan um, for 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 uh, interview purposes, it should be a formal attire. Um, don't worry, kasi kung wala naman kayong um, coat and tie, or baka nahihirapan kayo makapag makapagbihis right there on the studio of taking a picture. Kung nahihirapan kayo magsuot ng business attire doon, okay lang naman. Kasi there are uh, professional options sa mga studios na Pwede ka naka-t-shirt lang pa magpipicture, tapos papatungan na lang nila ng formal attire. Mamimili ka, meron silang selection ng mga damit na pwede na lang ipatong doon sa picture mo. And actually, to be honest with you guys, this picture that I have here, um, <laughs> naka-t-shirt naka lang ako nyan. Actually, parang, hindi ko malalang kung nakaligo pa ba ako na ito. <laughs> Nagbadali kasi ako nyan, pumunta ako ng sa isang pinakamalapit na uh, studio dito sa amin. I have to take a picture and then sabi niya, uh, 
yun nga, pwede yung lagyan ng, ano, ng uh, formal attire. Namili ako ng pwedeng formal attire na pwedeng um, ipatong doon sa picture. And then, yan, inayos niya into something like this. So, hindi naman halata, ba diba, na pinatong lang siya. Pero, naka-t-shirt lang talaga ako niya. So, yun. It should be a clean, white background. Professional lang attire ninyo. Walang selfie, please. Ay, walang dapat selfie na ilalagay dyan, tapos nakapout pa kayo. Um, walang mga filter. Basta uh, yun. Should be formal business attire, white background, smiling, and that's it. No other uh, hand gestures, or um, posing, or filters, uh, picture, background effects, and so on and so forth. Next! Uh, we have to, we're going to the objective part of uh, the resume. In the objective part, the main um, thing to talk about here is your objective why you are looking for a job. So, dito nakalagay dito sa akin, to secure position in a well-established company where I can hone and develop my hospitality skills and ultimately contribute to the growth and development of the company. So, ito yung objective ko when I look for a job. Kasi, syempre, um, way back then, no, ang aking talagang focus is the hospitality uh, industry. So, hindi ko, pala, hindi ko pa pala ito na-update. I should change the objective. Pero, um, if you guys are, of course, marketing majors and financial majors, it should be connected to your um, to your course or program. Kasi, yun lang naman ang meron kayo as of this moment, eh, your program or your educational attainment. So, yun yung pwede nyo ilagay sa objective ninyo. Maybe to secure a position in a well-established company where I can hone and develop my marketing skills and ultimately contribute to the growth and development of the company. So, um, ang pinakapayo ko dito sa objective natin is it should be, of course, straightforward and dapat clear and concise. Kung baga hindi kayo nagpapaligoy-ligoy pa. Um, the easiest, the, the, the more direct the, the, the message is, the better. But of course, wag naman yung sobrang direct na five word sentence lang or um, three word sentence, four word sentence. Uh, as much as possible, no? you should you should uh, try to elaborate even if it is direct. Um, try to elaborate the idea. Kasi ang purpose ito is you are conversing your objective to the HR, to the reader of your resume. So if your if your content for this particular category objective is very short, mga four word sentence or five word sentence lang, it's like you're not making an effort in conver in conversing to the reader of your resume. Siyempre, kailangan pa rin parang you are communicating with them. Parang, parang nang kipagkwentuhan ka pa rin sa kanila. Pero dapat, direct them. I hope you got that, no? Ah, siguro, uh, sana nakuha ninyo yung idea na yun. The next one being is summary of qualifications. Actually, um, for to the original template that I used way back then, nung ako ay nag-aaral pa, or anong after graduating, upon graduating, Summary of qualifications is um, here at the very last part of uh, the resume. Pero upon editing it from time to time, I noticed that it should be um, included at the first part of the resume because it's the summary. Eh. Whenever your uh, HR will, will see the summary of qualifications at the first part, yun kagad yung unang-una niyang uh, papansinin. And as much as possible, in the summary of qualifications, uh, ito yung Ito yung parang free canvas ninyo or free um, libre yung papel na pwede nyong sulatan ng kahit na anong pwede nyong ipagmayabang sa HR natin. Summary of qualifications, summary of your skills and achievements, anything to brag to the HR. So, kung kayo ay a fresh graduates, uh, fresh graduates or um, still studying with no job experience whatsoever, as in zero job experience talaga, uh, the, some of the things that you can uh, include here in the summary of qualifications is uh, your, your academic status, kung gano'ng kataas ang grades mo, kung gano'ng kaganda ang performance mo, um, if, if there are any... I mean, uh, if if you are if you think you are passing on time your activities, um, nagpapasa ka naman on time, wala ka na miss na activities, you can also include it here in the summary of qualifications. If you are um, 
If you are chosen whatsoever in any kinds of activities, if you participated in events, um, basta anything no, to brag to the HR. If you think that including here that you have a um, outstanding computer skills, include that. If you think here that you have outstanding communication skills, include it, include it here as well. Dito nakalagay sa akin, able to focus on the job specified to do. A good team player and can also lead a team if necessary. Has a firm academic background in quality food and beverage service, trends in hospitality and tourism industry, strama and operations management and research. Able to speak the English language fluently and comprehend phrases and sentences with minimal effort. So ito yung parang gusto kong ipagmayabang doon sa, um, sa HR natin that I am able to focus on the job specified to do if you will remember no, I asked you guys what are your strengths what are your weaknesses what are your advantages against other competitors or against your other applicants pwede nyo dito ilagay na yun lahat lahat ng strengths ninyo um, wag mo ng weaknesses as much as possible focus on the strengths that you think the HR that will read this summary of qualifications, yun ang hinahanap niya. Um, this summary of qualifications is um, intended for academic purposes kasi naglagay ako dito ng academic background ko. Has a firm academic background. Pero kung wala yan, and I'm focusing on skills kasi ang apag a ko is restaurants or hospitality or uh, hotels, ganyan, uh, restaurants nga or anything regarding HRM industry, Skills na malang ilalagay ko dito has a um, firm skill uh, has a firm skills development or has firm um, skills background in ganito in ganyan and so on and so forth. Plus, lastly, able to speak the English language fluently and comprehend phrases and sentences with minimal effort. Um, Shempre kasi yun yung yun yung ano ko yun yung pwede kong ma magisabi or um, may pagmayabang sa HR natin. Pero kayo. Uh, depende yan sa kanya-kanya lang skills no? as much as possible nga ang nalagay natin dito is anything that um, that can help upsell your character, your skills no? and um, your strengths include that in the summary of qualifications and it's important that it's in the uh, f first parts of your resume para makita kagad the HR natin and para yun kagad ang mapapansin niya the next one being here after summary of qualifications is work experience. With work experience, may kita na naman dito. Very straightforward lang then. You will start with um, you will start with the first um, ano tawo dito uh, the, the 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 latest yung pinaka latest mong work experience yun ang ilalagay mo dito. You uh, um nalagay to is shack member. It's it's the first ano tawo dito. It's the uh, latest pala, latest job that I had before coming here in St. Jude. And nilagay ko dito siya, member, kasi it's the uh, job position that was given to me. So, ang ilalagay dito sa work experience, unang-una, is job position, company you work with, start and end of job experience, and then duties. Ayan, nakalagay dito, this is my job position, siya, member, pioneer. Uh, the company is Shake Shack, uh, CSQ, BGC Tagig Specialty Food Retailers Incorporated. And then, uh, this is the time that I work within the company and then my duties and responsibilities. Uh, same with, et, so ito yung pinaka, sorry, ito yung pinaka latest, tatadaan nyo, yung nasa taas lagi, yung pinaka latest na job experience na meron kayo. And then, pababa ng pababa, this is the next job experience I had before working in Shake Shack, the uh, job I had before working in SDI, and then internships. If you will finish your internships with, um, uh, if you will finish your, in your practicum, no, uh, you can include it here in the work experience part of your resume. So ayan nan then very straightforward your position, your uh, ayan, position, company, and the uh, the time where you stayed for the company, and then your duties and responsibilities. Yeah. Next is educational background. Again, also a, um, I guess this is a very straightforward, um, very straightforward thing already. Educational background. Pinaka latest yu dito is it should be. Palain update ko rin to di ko pa palain ng MA ko. Uh, Lalagay nyo dito yung 
sa pinakataas, yun yung parang pinakamataas na educational attainment mo. So, as of this moment, ang pinakamataas kong educational attainment is Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. So, BSHRM and UST. I stayed there for quite some time. Uh, June 12 to 2016. Hindi ko pala na-edit or hindi maayos yung edit ko. Ayan. Um, Lalagay nyo dyan. Ganun lang din. The first thing being is your course or degree of education. Whether kung ano yung course ninyo. And then, lalagay mo yung school. Kung, sa, uh, kung saan school ka nag-aral. And the year of stay of until year of stay until graduation. Or sa case ninyo, hindi pa kayo nakaka-graduate. So, ang lalagay nyo dito is, uh, for example lang ha, June 2012 dash present. Ganun lang ang gagawin niyo. If hindi pa kayo nakakapag-graduate like this. Uh, for example, we put here BS um, I mean Bachelor of Science in Marketing Management. Uh, school here is Finma St. Jude College Manila. And then, year of stay until graduation. Kailan ba kayo? 2021, 1, 2, <laughs> 2019, 2019 ba kayo? Let's just say 2018. For example, June 2018, kayo nag-start sa school and then present. Yan ang nalagay ninyo. Since you are not yet college graduates, no? Um, pwede nyo gamit na ito pag kayo ay magpa-practicum na. So, dito naman, secondary, secondary education, high school attainment, school, and then um, year of stay. Next, uh, this is also very important part of your uh, resume, seminars and conventions attended. Kaya, yung mga certificates na binibigay sa inyo when um, attending seminars, attending conventions, mga trainings ninyo, Whenever you receive a certificate, you should always, always, always keep that. Dapat tinatago na yun. Dapat hindi nyo yun tinatapon or binabale wala lang. Um, kasi it is very important when you guys will, um, when you guys will, what, how do you call this? Uh, apply for a job in the, uh, soon. Kasi, since yun nga, no? wala kayong job experience, wala kayong work experience, ano yung mga naging additional experience mo? Ano yung mga trainings na na-undergo mo nung ikaw ay nag-aaral pa doon sa school? Um, if you if you attended any, for example, yung mga field trip ninyo, pwede pwede yun. If you receive certificates attending field trips, um, seminars in hotels, trainings with other professionals, dito nyo ilalagay yon. For example, here, uh, way back when I was still studying in college, I included here an event. This is a convention we attended um, in Le Pavilion Metropolitan Park, Pasay. We also have here baking and san sanitation seminar sa Hotel Philippine Plaza, Manila, sa hotel. And then wine education seminar, barista basics and bar exposure program. Dito lang yan sa UST. So within within our school, yung mga trainings na, gin na, na inattendan namin within the school, uh, sinama ko na yun dito. Uh, we also included here, I also included here some uh, seminars and conventions we have conducted. So, nalagay ko dito is conducted dash, uh, yan, blocks, globali uh, globalizing opportunities, eliminating hospitality experiences, also in UST. Uh, we conducted this convention. Japanese cuisine, washoku, a training. Uh, conducted again, beverage mixing seminar at STI and so on and so forth. So anything that you can brag to the HR na, na, ano, no, na additional attainments mo, mga certificates, mga achievements, seminars and conventions attended, dito nyo yung ilalagay sa part na ito. And don't worry, the one that I will give you, the one that I will give you has, I, I didn't exclude my uh, certificates and conventions para makita ninyo kung papaano, uh, papaano siya, Ano dito? Pa paano ang format niya? Para malinis tingnan. Here, I include here, uh, I, I, um, ano tawag dito? Nilagay ko siya on bold and italic. Yung mga titles ng seminars, conventions na inattendan ko. And then, I included here the place where we conducted it and the date of 
of the event. So, ganun lang naman yung format niya. Medyo magul- magulo ba? Kasi para sa akin, ano, maayos siya tingnan. Um, kasi nakikita mo kagad yung title, nakikita mo kung kinondock ba siya or hindi, yung place kung saan siya kinondock, and um, date. So, after that, personal information, ayan, may kita nyo na kung ilang taon po ako ngayon. Uh, date of birth, height, and weight. And then, uh, references, dito naman alagay ninyo. The important thing here in reference is kung ano ang ang ilalagay ninyong pangalan dito sa reference ninyo is someone who who you really don't have any ano any immediate connection kumbaga hindi mo siya kapamilya hindi mo siya best friend or whatsoever it should be someone who had the experience working with you someone who who knows you on how responsible you are someone who knows you um in your work ethics in your job behavior dapat yun yung ilalagay ninyo dito sa reference part Ang nilagay ko dito si Chef Arnold kasi uh, we we go way back eh, sa UST pa lang. So, um, nilagay ko siya as reference kasi he knows how um, how well I execute my job, kung papaano ko, kung papaano ko kumilos, my work ethics, my work behavior, um, and so on and so forth. So, yun yung nilagay niya dito. Kayo, as, ano, as uh, fresh graduates, since wala pa kayong work experience, pwede nyo ilagay dito ako as your reference and also maybe a family friend of yours. Maybe meron kayong mga tito na hindi ka mag-anak, hindi ka dugo, mga kaibigan na meron ng, eh, meron, nag-work na sa, sa industry that can help give a reference kung paano ka nagtatrabaho ng maayos doon sa company na, pinag, na pinag-a-apply. Na doon sa time pala na nagkaroon kayo ng uh, opportunity to work well together. Or yun, basta sa reference, someone who you know, who you can trust, that will give you a, give, a, a good reference. Kasi ang nangyayari po dyan, yung tinatawagan yan, kinokontak yan ng mga HR natin, and then they will ask, slimba ko, with Chef Arnold, no? tatanungin na ko, um, Chef Arnold, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Arnold Zagire, you you were included here uh, in the reference part of the resume of Mr. Richard Paolo Ignacio. He is currently applying for the job position of, let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, sales associate. Uh, he is applying for a position in our company as a sales associate uh, and you are included as one of his references. May I ask how responsible he is in doing his um, job duties or responsibilities? May we know if if there are any concerns or anything that we should be concerned with? Paano ba, or, or how how well does he work with other employees or other um, workers within the company? So, ganun kasi ang nangyayari sa reference natin. May mga questions silang itatanong na um, na related sa trabaho, related sa work environment. And usually, dito rin tinatanong yung soft skills, like um, how well he is when it comes to communicating, how good he is as a team worker or team player and so on and so forth so nalagay nyo sa reference nyo someone who you know that can give a good um, good feedback regarding your work behavior someone who you can trust so yun that's it ganun ka dali name of reference position company contact number and email so ganun lang kadali ang paggawa actually ng resume natin very simple and very precise tandaan tatandaan niyo yung dalawang sinabi ko sa inyo your resume should be um, organized as much as possible and also direct dapat wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa so yun with uh, with that in mind um, i'll be expecting you guys to use you can use this template, I suggest you use this template. Pero if you already have a template na meron kayo, 
you can just apply the ideas that I have shared with you. And if meron kayong gustong template na makuha online, marami kasi online na templates eh. Meron sa Canva or you can just simply research in in Google um, resume template for fresh graduates or resume template for um, college students. Marami kayong makikitang template doon. Um, pero ito, bibigay ko na rin sa inyo to in case na ito yung gusto nyong gamitin na template. Ang point ko na naman dito is um, I explain to you each uh, categories, importance nila, and how uh, you can create the content of your resume. So with that in mind, um, thank you so much with you guys, for you guys. Um, thank you so much. And then I'll give an activity. Actually, I'll be expecting you guys to uh, present or send to me your resume. Magbibigay na lang ako ng activity sa inyo um, this week. To be passed next week pa naman. Bibigyan ko pa naman. Bibigyan ko naman kayo ng time to pass it. So with that in mind, um, thank you so much. This will be our last discussion for finals. And see you guys soon. Maybe in the industry na pag kayo ay nakatapos na ng practicum ninyo. Uh, we will be working together. I hope there will be a chance that we will be working together in the industry. So, yun. Thank you so much. Guys, always, always stay safe. Um, maraming salamat and good day.